achieved with CryEngine 3. Why are there so many splash screens? All right. Hey, this is DK Dude 7 playing kind of a a one-off or a recording off, if you will, since I'm going to be doing it for this session of games. Um some Crisis 3. I'm just I'm in a mood to play um Uh, yeah, it's been a while. Um, I just, I was looking at my games. I had kind of slated for myself to play one of the Spider-Man games. I just wasn't feeling it tonight, uh, for that specific Spider-Man game. So I was like, eh, I'll find something, something fun to play. Just, just for the kicks of it. So. I think... Uh, what? Okay. The heck? What kind of warning is that? Okay, oh jeez. Hold on. Settings. Game. No, why would I have the dialogue turned off? Give me dialogue. My brightness barely visible. I still can't see it. <laughs> Safe area. Yeah, we can expand that a, a little bit. There we go. Ugh. Uh, no. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Name it sure, I guess. Okay. Let's get into Training this. is divided into several okay. subsections. Each subsection can be accessed individually. Okay. Here you will learn navigational control of your nanosuit. We call the nanosuit Battle Armor Perfected, but it's much more than that. I'm gonna knee myself in the face doing this. No. Why on earth would I want to do that? Gives you real time tactical feedback on your surroundings. Now make your way through the assault course. Okay. I can do that. Artificial muscles assist interaction with your environment. You can jump higher. You can climb further. Okay. We. You can run faster. Cool. With control slide. <laughs> I like how that one doesn't actually give you the final part of that line until after you Here do it. You will learn how to handle weapons with your nano suit. Primary firing to R1. Use your weapon sights. High definition. See, this is why you do the tutorial. Very focal eye lenses give you unmatched accuracy. Target snap auto corrects on zoom. Okay. Cycle through nearby targets for maximum combat efficiency. Even with fast twitch recoil compensation, rapid fire is inaccurate. Use semi auto to improve kill ratios. That honestly, yeah. True. I've seen 
Weapon I've seen tests about that. Allows for on the fly attachment swap out to adjust to change. Oh, that's one of my favorite conditions. things about this game that New I completely forgot about. Automatically added to your inventory and are always available. Yeah, you can just do this. Distant targets. Uh, silencer, scope. There we go. Were there certain ones I'm supposed to put on? Oh, there we go. Accelerated reflexes make switching to your secondary faster than a reload. Sound design on this game is actually kind of nice. Your visor will alert you to ammunition restock locations. Oh. Cool. Telemetry integration allows active target aiming I forgot assistance. how, like, uniquely inventive this the game is with random stuff. Only partial protection from withheld grenades. Throw them within four seconds. This tutorial is complete. Continued free practice is supported by this module. <laughs> I took a one last shot. It didn't Here register, but I did. The fundamentals of nanosuit combat operations. Okay. All nanosuit functions require energy. Some functions drain right. energy faster than others. Energy is recovered automatically from multiple sources within the environment. Right. Stand by for nanosuit function training. Standing by. Thank you. Armor mode deflects incoming fire. The more damage okay. deflected, the greater the energy consumption. That's pretty logical. Ow. Cloak refracts light around the nano suit, making it practically invisible. The faster the movement, the more energy is required. I don't know I'm here. Combine nano suit modes dynamically to maintain combat advantage over your enemies. Got this. Almost there. Sneaky. And done. The nano suit monitors cortisol stress hormones in nearby enemies okay. to calculate observability. The threat level is communicated to you via your HUD stealth meter. Oh. Cloak mode provides silent kill opportunities. Right, obviously. And snap his neck. Oh jeez. I turned his head around. Run. Whoop. Yes, that's exactly how this is supposed to work. Here we will cover advanced elements of nanosuit combat operations. Okay. The tactical visor analyzes the battlefield topography, right. marking targets and points of interest. Computer system exploitation or hacking is another function of the tactical visor. Oh. Oh. Failed system exploitations will temporarily disable your nanosuit functions. Jeez. Nanovision is a function of the tactical visor which provides full spectrum acuity. Okay. This gives enemies Makes no sense, place I guess. to hide, even in pitch black environments. Obviously. Nanovision. 
Nanovision is a highly advanced feature and consumes energy while active. Yeah, of course it does. The nanosuit strength augmentation allows rapid destruction of soft cover and power lifting of oversized objects. That's surprisingly useful. Oh yeah. Kick oversized objects to clear paths and kill enemies. There we go. That was depressing. There we go. Why did that take three tries to do? The heck. Welcome to the tutorial sandbox. Here you can test out your nano suit abilities in complete safety. Combine nano suit modes dynamically to okay. maintain combat advantage over your enemies. There's a dude. Oh jeez. Better method of doing this is sneak back over here. Open this up. Throw out a silencer. Because now, getting headshots on these fools is infinitely easier. We call the nano suit Battle Armor Perfected. With this tutorial, we aim to perfect the soldier. That's very nice. Good of you. luck out there. Uh, thanks. Training is now complete. Twenty three years ago, the alien Seth invaded our world. We stopped them. I stop them don't me but the cell corporation sees the opportunity well, stepping into the power vacuum quickly growing in size and influence to the brink of world domination cell took us all by surprise even me even me they call me prophet and I'm the only cool name, one I guess. who knows what's coming. Cell are not the real threat to our world. The most powerful alien, the Alpha Seth, still lives. He showed me a glimpse of the future. That's a bus in space. Why is there a bus in space? He knows what drives me. What I believe. That being that a, a good sink? soldier comes down to one That's thing. Street sign. To one single question. What are you prepared to sacrifice? Um, Remember me. Five dollars. When I can they give you five dollars. With the nano suit, I sacrificed Lawrence I'm Barnes, broken. the I man I was, 
to become prophet. When my own flesh and blood held me back, I well, I'm not actually broke. I'm just kind of being facetious. Like a spare part. Victory costs. Not gonna lie, this team still looks very pretty. A little more. Even on PS3. I wish I had it on like PC to play. That'd be cool. Just max out everything. I saw a glimpse but... of what's coming. Crap. No. Crap. And there was nothing yeah. left of me to stop it. Oh, good. I like how they open this like a movie. Sometimes when the greatest Gosh. combat machine fails. What do we do then? What do I do? Hmm. Crisis three. I'm a. I, I don't remember if this company, if uh, Crytek, was bought by another publisher. Because I was gonna say it'd be really cool to see Crisis four like. Put out on the current Still generation of stuff. What about off? Okay. There's probably more cutscene there, but I've lost interest. I, I need to end. Oh. Yeah. What did Take I miss? Thanks. Alright. I'm going to pause it there and say see you guys next time. See you later.